Hi, it's John here from GPS Train. What I'm gonna do in this short video is answer seven most asked questions I get asked about the Garmin Montana 700 series of GPS units. As you may know, the Montana 700 series, 700i, 750i, is Garmin's large screen outdoor GPS unit. I get asked a lot of questions, so I'm gonna answer the six key questions I get asked. So that was a great start, wasn't it? Is it seven questions or six questions? You'll have to wait to the end and see. But what is the first question that I get asked the most about a Garmin GPS Map 700 series? The question is, what is the difference between a Garmin Montana 700, 700i and 750i? Garmin 700i is the standard model. The 700i comes with two-way satellite communication, the in-reach technology that Garmin had. You do need a subscription for that to work, and I'll put a link below into the subscription cost for that. Also, the 700i comes with what's called City Navigator, with its Garmin's car sat nav experience. So if you're gonna put it on a motorcycle or use it in a car, you do need a mount uh, for that to work. Um, you can utilize that. So 700i, two-way satellite communicator, and what we call City Navigator. And then the 750i has those additions, but it also has an eight megapixel camera. Key difference then, 700 standard model, 700i, City Navigator, and two-way satellite communicator, 750i, two-way satellite communicator, city navigator, and of course the eight megapixel camera. The second most asked question we get asked about again, Montana 700 series is a touch screen can it be a true four season GPS unit if it's got a touch screen? As you'll see here from the video we shot earlier this year, in some horrendous weather, we're absolutely shocked and amazed how well that touch screen works in rain. I've also done some big walks in freezing conditions with big heavy gloves on. I'm amazed how well it performs with gloves on. Let's think sometimes this GPS unit ends up on motorbikes, on trail bikes, and those guys have got their gloves on all the time. I never heard one complaint about the touch screen not performing as the way it is. So question number two is, how does the touch screen perform in bad weather, in rain and cold? It's impeccable and to be honest we've been quite taken back by that so I believe it's a large touchscreen GPS unit which is a true four season outdoor GPS unit. It's certainly a long old climb up Blen Catra this evening in the Lake District. Gives me a great opportunity to stop and tell you the third most asked question I get asked in regards to Garmin Montana 700 is, it's a big old GPS unit, how do you carry it? This is one of the big dilemmas I had when it first came out. It's a big unit, how are you gonna carry just a big unit? And the answer was a carry case. So we asked all the customers who have bought GPS a Montana 700 series GPS units from us, how are you carry it? And they all sent me links to various carry cases. And then I bought a large number of them and tried them out on the hill. And the one we finally went, down, went to is by far, I think the best one. Just a nice, compact, simple carry case. Sits on your waistband, on your rucksack. And to be honest, it's one of our best selling products ever since. Really nice carry case. And I think with a unit this size, you've got to carry it around your waist on the belt of your um, rucksack. So that's the third most asked question we get asked. How do you carry a Garmin on Montana 700 series GPS unit? Carry case, and that really has to stick, sit on the belt strap of your rucksack. We had the mighty Blen Cathra behind us, one of the most iconic mountains in the Lake District. So the fourth 
most asked question I get about the Gar Garmin Montana 700 series is how easy is it to use? As you're buying a top-end touchscreen GPS unit from Garmin, it's actually the easiest unit to use. Key things are because Again, it's a top-end unit. We've got connectivity to mobile phone or a tablet. So you don't actually need a PC and a Mac to transfer data onto the Garmin Montana 700 series. So you can plan your routes on your tablet or your mobile phone, download GPX files, and wirelessly transfer those onto your Garmin Montana 700 series GPS unit. Also, with being a large touchscreen GPS unit, it's just so easy to use. Your icon's down at the bottom, and those are your pages. You can just tap on it, and it takes you to them quickly and efficiently. I always say, on, I've just been delivering one of our GPS training courses in Mon Grisdale today, and I've come for a walk this evening. I always say the people on our courses with Montana 700 series GPS units are usually top of the class, not down to their own ability, but down to how easy the GPS unit is to use. Again, if you want to input grid references, input data with that large touchscreen, it's super easy to do. So if you're a little bit of a technophobe or a bit worried about technology, you won't go far wrong with a Montana 700 series GPS unit. The fifth most asked question to get about the Garmin Montana 700 series GPS units is, what's the battery life like? You're actually going to get 15 hours of battery life from any of the Garmin Montana 700 series GPS units. Now, Consider that, considering that with a Garmin GPS map 67, 67i, we're now getting 180 hours of battery life. Actually, 15 hours of battery life is not great compared to some of the other GPS units on the market. But 15 hours, most of us only go out for, what, six, eight, 10 hours at a time. So there's plenty of battery life there. One of the key things about the battery is it's actually interchangeable. So therefore, you can change that battery. Other, other units with built-in batteries have been built in and you can't get that out. So when I talk about the Garmin GPS Map 67, it's a built-in battery that you can't get out and change. But with the Garmin Montana 700 series, it's actually interchangeable, so you can buy a spare battery if you choose to charge it and then put that into the unit when the other one runs out. Now, AA batteries. The Montana 700, you can run off AA batteries. You can get a, a, a AA battery adapter and run that unit off AA batteries, but you can't run the 700i or the 750i off AA batteries. The reason for that, with the two-way satellite communication, it really needs a very consistent power supply, which you don't get from AA batteries. So, um, 15 hours of battery life, um, you can get interchange, you can get another battery backup if you choose, whether it's another 15 hours, or if you've got a Montana 700, you can run off AA batteries, and you can buy a AA battery adapter. But as I said, for most of us out, what, six, eight, 10 hours a day is a good day's walking, 15 hours of battery life is plenty enough for most of us. The sixth most asked question I get about the Garmin Montana 700 series is what map should I put in that unit? As you most more than likely know, the Garmin Montana 700 series comes preloaded with Garmin's Topo Active Mapping. Really nice digital map, but the problem in the UK, it doesn't show right away. It just shows everything as a path. It doesn't say it's a footpath, right away, or frankly, a private drive. And where I am today with open access areas, it certainly doesn't show open access areas. So if you're walking in the UK, or certainly England and Wales, where we have trespass laws, we really need to buy an ordnance survey map with that GPS unit. Again, from our website, you'll see that from the Montana 700 series, 700, 700i, 750i, there's a drop-down menu that enables you to buy 
um, the unit with whichever Ordnance Survey maps you choose to. So you'll always get topoactive mapping, which is European mapping as well as uh, Great Britain mapping. But then for the UK, we need to buy Ordnance Survey mapping. Your two options really are one to 50,000 mapping or one to 25,000 mapping. The cheapest option is one to 50,000 mapping. That still shows you footpaths, still shows you bridleways, still shows you everything that you need to know when you're out walking in the hills. 125,000 mapping is a little bit more expensive. That shows you all the information that the 1 to 50,000 mapping does, but it also shows you permissive footpaths, quite useful, open access areas, very useful, and field boundaries, less useful really with an outdoor GPS unit because you're either on the path or off, or off the path. If you're not on the path, walk 10 yards to your right, and you're now on the path. So you really need to order and survey mapping. Of course, the best is 1 to 25K mapping, but it's significantly more expensive. Um, so if you can afford it, go for 1 25K mapping, but you won't go wrong with a 1 to 50K mapping. But the key thing is buy it in with your outdoor GPS unit. You buy it at what's called a bundle price. You get it at a slightly discounted price. We'll insert the map card, make sure everything's working for you before it leaves. And then when your GPS unit arrives, all you do is open the box and you're ready to go. And the final question I get asked regarding the Garmin Montana 700 outdoor GPS unit is, is there anything I would like to see change in the future? Is there anything you think could be better? I don't think there's an awful lot that needs improving really with the Garmin Montana 700 series GPS units. Yeah, I would love to see a solar panel around the edge of that unit. Again, we're starting to see solar powered units coming in the eTrex SE range, eTrex Solar, starting to get a solar panel around the edge. And with the look and feel of the Montana being very similar than the SC or the uh, eTrex Solar as it's called. Um, why have we not got a solar panel around this? Maybe that's something we'll see in the future. And that would also help to improve that batch life. And I suppose that's the only weakness really, 15 hours of batch life is the only negative side really with the Garmin Montana 700. If you're looking for a large screen GPS unit, you won't go far wrong with this GPS unit. And again, with the ability to add um, the two-way satellite communicator and also the city navigator, that car nav um, experience, if you want to with a 700i and 750i, I think Garmin have got a cracking outdoor GPS unit. If you're thinking about buying an outdoor GPS unit or have a GPS unit and want to learn how to use it, please do get in touch with ourselves here at GPS Training. We're the largest uh, retailer of outdoor GPS units in the UK and we're also the largest provider, delivering both nationwide GPS training courses plus online training courses without what we call the online resource. And also we do a lot of training over Zoom now. So if you're in this country or overseas and want to get to grips with your GPS unit, have a look at our website and you can book one of our one-to-one -one Zoom session, training sessions over Zoom. Again, I'm John from GPS Training. If I can help in any way, please do uh, let me know. And if you like this video and you want to see more videos like this, please leave a comment in the comment box below. And whatever you're doing, get out and enjoy the wonderful countryside we have around you.